at the gym the other day realized how excessively huge and just how much stuff I have in this gym bag. But most of the stuff I use all the time and it's really beneficial. So I wanted to do a what's in my gym bag video so that you guys can see what I use in the gym, why I use it, and how I use it, and maybe you'll want it too, to improve your gains. All right, to begin, this is a gym bag from no, no other than bodybuilding.com. And I actually got it from them whenever I became their campus ambassador. So we're gonna open it up. <laughs> okay, so I have this big gym bag, but I also have my little gym bag inside of it that I will take on days that I'm really not doing much, um, just so I don't have to take this huge thing with me. But in here is kind of my essential stuff that I'll use during most workouts. To begin, fruity chewing gum. I always have gum in my mouth whenever I work out. I know a lot of people don't agree with that, think you can choke. I've never choked. I like it. It helps me. So, and then also my big armband. This is actually for this iPhone 6 Plus. I have the iPhone 6, but it's nice because if I go running, I can put a lot more stuff in here. I like using armbands because like I don't have to hold my phone then but I have a pair of Lululemon pants that have a pocket in them and I like that so much better than having this around me but this does help and then of course my pink beats are in this case I wear them in like every single video um, but I really like having beats because they kind of drown out the sound from everyone else which I really like and kind of keeps me in the zone a little bit and then I have, these are from Elite ST, FTS, and let's put them on, they're like wrist wraps. Um, actually, the USAPL, their powerlifting, um, this, these Elite FTS are not legal, and if I were to do a competition, it would probably be USAPL. So if I do use these, which I haven't much lately, they just kind of keep your wrist straight. Um, I'd have to make it tighter, but I'll take this part off. And basically that will end up being the same thing as a grip that you can use for the USAPL. And more gum. You know, you can never have enough of that. Oh, and my heart rate monitor. So I put this around my wrist and the other part around here. And I used that a lot more whenever I was on prep to see how many calories I was burning, see what my heart rate was at. But sometimes it is very interesting, interesting just to wear a heart rate monitor to see how much you're actually burning. Um, you're gonna want to put the black part If you're a girl right around the bottom of your sports bra if I could find it in here <laughs> Yeah, that's great. Oh right here right around the bottom of your sports bra and you get used to it at the first One or two times it might feel annoying, but it's fine. You get used to it So this bag I will always have at the gym whether it's inside my big bag or I just have it myself And usually I'll have my wallet and stuff in there too, but yeah mini foam rollers so a lot of the times my it bands which are right on the sides of your thighs get really tight so i'll literally roll on this in between sets and also for mobility before i do any big compound movement i do a lot of foam rolling and mobility work and this helps with it it's really hard but it's pretty small it works for me and then this this is a hip circle from slingshot and it really helps because like I said in my previous video, if you watched it, my shoulders and glutes video, one of my biggest problems with squatting is I tend to buckle in my knees and it's something I want to fix so badly because it's not safe to do that. So this actually helps and I will do squats with it first, unweighted. Sometimes I'll hold a barbell here, just a really light barbell, just but just really focusing on opening up my hips and getting my knees out. And it's really good for band walks, too, for exercises. And Converse. So, um, my Converse, I used to actually use these for squatting. Now I have squat shoes, which I'll show you in a bit. But I always use these for deadlifting. Deadlifting, it's really good to have a flat shoe. So either these or even wrestling shoes or no shoes. And whenever I do the rest of my leg workouts on my squat day, I'll start off with squat shoes to do my squats. And then all of my leg accessories, I will wear my Converse. It just creates a flat sole. They're not something I will do cardio in. So I have separate shoes for that that I would usually wear to the gym. But that's a different story. And then I have a bunch of other armbands in here that were broken. And I tried to fix this one with duct tape, if you can see. <laughs> but um, I should probably just throw those away because they are of no use like this one. Oh, hair tie 
Those are important if you're a girl or a boy with long hair. Not a girl with short hair. Um, another one that's broken. I'm, I'm just going to throw those out. <laughs> My squat shoes! Yay! I love these. I just started using them. I love them. Front squats, back squats, whatever. They just make me feel so much more stable. They're the Powerlift 2.0 from Adidas, and luckily my brother bought them for me, so that was a great treat. Um, but yeah, I've been using these to squat more now, and I really, really like the feel of them, and I'm going to use them later again, and I'm super excited. But yeah, I love these shoes. They're so beneficial. I do not wear them outside. I only wear them to squat, and that is it. My squat shoes. Oh, this is my old little baby belt, the Schleck brand. It's just like Velcro. Um, you put it around you like so. Velcro, put this in here, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I would make it tighter. But I used to use this for my squats and deadlifts and everything. Before I got a leather belt, that I'll show you in a minute. But this I can still use for things, and it's never bad. It was a good belt to start out with. That was all I needed. I wasn't really lifting anything too heavy whenever I started out. And it's just nice. I can get it super tight, which I really like. Even on deadlifts, I really like it to be super tight just so I know to use my core. My new belt. I love this belt. It is an in there forever belt. They are pretty expensive, but they last forever. So you only buy one instead of buying like two of ones that are a little cheaper. So in my mind, I'm saving money. But this is a leather belt. It's the real deal. I'm still trying to break it in a little bit. Gives me marks here and here. But um, yeah, I get it like really super tight that I like a lot tighter than this. And um, it really helps. The thing with belts, why they are important, whenever you do compound lifts, you know, squat, bench, deadlift, I actually don't use them to bench. I can try. I don't know how that would feel. But anyway, the thing that is very important with your powerlifting movements, your compound movements, is that you use your core. You want to push out. And by having this tight, you're pushing out into the belt. And it also helps with your back too. So I think belts are super important. And you're like once you put one on, you're going to feel like you can lift a lot more weight, which is so fun. And that's the goal over here. And this, I actually usually have this in my little bag. So I guess I'll put it in there. This um, is, you attach it to a cable on the bottom. This is really beneficial if you're going on a trip, like I have gone to multiple hotel gyms that didn't have good machines, good glute machines, and I would use this. Um, if your gym doesn't have a glute machine, this is a good way to work your booty. As excessive as all of this stuff is, I will, I use the majority of it, so I love it. And I love this bag, it makes me feel better. I had an old, if you can't see it, I had an old duffel bag, it's down there still. But yeah. When you say it like that, oh, oh, oh.